Christ, you two. When you fight, when you fight IRL, there's two factors. He who is willing to cheat, and he who is willing to go normal. He who cheats goes for nut shots, goes for throat shots, for, goes for the one hit kills. And there's he who is valiant. The valiant goes for the chest, the mid, the head, the anything. There's something that can defend against itself. It's in a fight that you truly realize who you are. This is where you get fury DPS. Stop thinking about his personality, his factors, his, 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 his. his. You have got to realize that it's only you versus him. When it comes down to it, say Resuvius, say on that fight, I, I stopped DPSing for like 30 seconds. For 30 seconds, this guy is allowed to recuperate, revive, get everything together, including his strategy. This... This, my friends, is unacceptable. When you fight Resuvius, you must be three things. You must be unaccepting. You must be unremorseful. And you must be unrelenting. You have to punch this guy in the head. You have to punch this guy in the nuts. You have to pus punch this guy in the chest. This guy will die. The only way you can achieve this is by understanding the fact that it's between you and him and who will speak afterwards, who will oh, revive cool. afterwards, who will live. No meaning. It's not bullshit. No, not if you about think it. about it, when you do DPS, there's, there's a fa one factor and one factor alone. That is who does the most, who does the best, and who does the most effective. The most is someone who will ignore everything except damage. They'll punch, they'll kick, they'll do anything to do damage. The second is who is the most effective. The most effective is who punches who in the throat, the, the heart, the knees, the, the soft spots. This is where the most effective comes in. And who does the most damage overall is who just fucking goes nuts. Who is berserk. Among all berserks, who is more uncontrollable among all uncontrollables? When you do damage, you've got to do it like you mean it. Like you crave it. Like this person, this NPC, this unknown entity offends you. You must do damage beyond uncomprehensible damage against him. You must understand that to kill him, to conquer him, to become better than him, you must become him. You must become him and advance before him. This, my friends, is damage. This, my friends, is how you kill Naxxramas bosses. That was amazing. Exactly. You gotta remember there's three things in this game. You got your one guy who can take the damage, you got your million guys who can heal the damage, and you got your guys that can deal the damage. It's you can't have a an awesome tank who can take any damage given to him. If your heals can't keep him alive or if your DPS can't kill him before he does more damage than the healers can heal. It's what I call the rectal pyramid. You got three points. You got your healing, your absorption, and your doing. The healing must be able to make the do the accepting alive. The accepting has to make sure the damage is doing its best so that it doesn't have to accept as much damage. And the doing damage must do enough damage to make sure that the people healing the accepting stay alive. It's a huge combination. So when you're next Ramus, these guys have to die, and they have to die quick. That's why when I personally damage, I make sure I optimize it. I read warrior forums, I talk to other warriors, I make sure my gear is the best. Those three factors alone make sure that my damage owns people. Dazra, maybe a few other rogues, uh, 
people I accept into the category that I put myself in. I don't care if you personally think I'm a wanker, but I do damage unparalleled to any other. I make sure that when I do damage, people feel it. They go, holy shit, I just got punched in the face by Krub. I make sure that people think, holy shit, I got the punch in the face by Dazra. Because when you fucking realize this shit, you realize that you have to be the best. If it's gear, if it's the independency of your spec, you fix it. You shouldn't have to talk to other people. Warrior forums, discussions, ab observation of your own abilities means that you can decide when you are doing your best or your worst. I talked to Minizinger, I talked to Horrocks, Gore, and Amarok. When you do DPS, you make sure you're doing the best. If you're not doing the best, you make sure damn well that you're pumping at every single second of DPS you can possibly manage. This, my friends, means that we progress. Not the fact that you pick up epics and make sure you do okay DPS. I want great DPS. I want people who DPS so fucking hard it hurts my face, let alone the people that are being DPS. Do you realize this? Yeah, Kurt. Exactly, Minitinga. When you pick up your two hand weapon and you put in your DPS gear, you're not there to take damage. You're there to punch this guy in the face. You're there to break his bones. This is what I'm talking about, my friend. This is what I'm talking about. What about PvP? What's what <laughs> Oh, my face is numb. We win. Oh, my face is We have to raid in two and a half hours. How do you feel about that? Two and a half hours. <laughs> I can't even talk. I can't even talk in fucking straight sentence. So, Krub, if you think, okay. what do you think Gino does if you don't think he does his best, or do you think he just goes there and goes through the motions? I think Gino Reaper personally doesn't accept a DPS role. Like, when there's two mobs, you cleave. When there's two plus mobs, when there's three or four mobs available, you whirlwind. Otherwise, if it's single DPS only, you only bloodthirst, you only heroic strike. If you feel that aggro is a problem in that particular instance, you cleave as well, because cleave does near enough to the amount fully improved that what Heroic Strike does, but doesn't obtain the additional aggro. Aggro is a, a thing you have to fight, and... Minizinger? I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I gotta go watch the finish of the movie. So I'll talk to oh, you yeah, later. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Be right back.